you believe that it's the responsible thing to do for our taxpayers and it's a good steward of, of our tax dollars to do so, or you don't. It's a simple black and white issue for me today. And I believe that the appropriate thing to do is to go after bid, but I will have the uh, public discussion to follow. And let me just conclude with my comments that I would expect from all of our current haulers and anybody bidding for contracts here that regardless of what you see as the criteria for um, the point, the, uh, the uh, uh, administration of points, that um, whatever you see on paper goes beyond that. It goes to a little box that I'm going to be keeping check, track of, and that's called integrity. And I would expect each and every one of you that are applying for uh, business with this county that you will act with integrity and in the future and any future communications better reflect facts and better re, uh, not reflect the lies and fear mongering that we have seen this past week. So I'll conclude with that and I look forward to our public discussion. Good afternoon, my name is Kenneth Roberts. I live at 5235 Moon Shell Drive, Apollo Beach, Florida. Slide one, please. Yeah, I just want to shine some light on something that might not get mentioned uh, by other people today. Um, the data on this page, which is an excerpt from the Solid Waste Management Division Enterprise Fund financial statement notes, is about uh, a bond issue that exists, Series 2006 bonds. And you can see that right now we're paying $7 million a year, and soon in 2015 we'll be paying $11 million a year. That's $4 million more than we're paying now. And between now and 2034, that will be $87 million extra dollars we have to come up with to service that debt. This needs fixing. Uh, how are we going to pay that extra $87 million? More taxes, anyone? I, I think not. These taxpayers know there are significant savings in putting these waste hauling contracts out for competitive bids. Yes, sir. I, I thought we had three minutes. I'm sorry, sir. Please start us getting one minute. I said that three times. Thank you. A lot of people that want to speak. Next, please. Obviously, you don't want to hear from me. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your comments. Good afternoon, Mr. Barnes. Good afternoon, Commissioners. I'm Ed Barnes from Sun City Center. I live at 1205 Knightsgate Court in Sun City Center. I have a resolution that, with the Chair's permission, I'd like to give it to the, the, the clerk afterwards to be introduced into the record. Yes, sir. The resolution says the City of Sun City Center Association's Board of Directors, on behalf of its over 11,000 residents of Sun City Center, have approved the following resolution. Be it resolved this ninth day of December 2011 that the Sun City Center Community Association strongly supports open and transparent government. Therefore, be it resolved that the association is in favor of open and fair bidding process for the future waste collection of hauling contracts in Hillsborough County. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Thank you, Ms. Barnes. Next, please. Good morning, Commissioner. Uh, afternoon, my apologies. Um, I'm Dana Dittmar. I'm the Executive Director of the Sun City Center Chamber of Commerce, located at 1651 Sun City Center Plaza, Sun City Center, Florida. We support a strong competitive market and the opportunity for all appropriate businesses to participate in a fair bidding process. We believe any benefit of renegotiation can also be attained through the RFP process. And as one of the persons who hears complaints from residents and businesses alike, there are significant service issues that challenge the 99% satisfaction number. The South Sun City Center and South Shore area is united in our support of turning this over to an open bidding process. Thank you. Thank you, Dana. Next, please. My name is Jim Duffy. I live in Hillsborough County and I support bidding. Recently, residents have been targeted by a very clever and very well-funded lobbying effort. Uh, we are warned that competitive bidding will somehow bring terrible consequences, and that's simply not true. America put a man on the moon through the competitive bidding process. 
And printing trash isn't exactly trivial, but it's not exactly rocket science. So bidding offers an opportunity to modify the existing contracts and attract new bidders. It's been suggested we should only bid the commercial side of waste management, we should bid the total process. And renegotiation has been suggested as a compromise. Why should we compromise before we start? Thank you. Sir, please give your address for the record. Sun City Center. 705 Wonder Brook Way, but I don't want to waste my one minute. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm a small business owner, and I would love any contract that you all are just going to hand to me without any kind of competitive bid, please. I do a whole lot more than shipping by UPS store, so I can do you all your printing, especially if I don't have to bid for it. Folks, it's nearly unthinkable. That, uh, let, let me say this. Uh, the current haulers ought to be the ones who are the biggest champions of wanting the bid process so that they can demonstrate to everyone, without question, out in front, out in the open, that they are doing the best job for the best price. You want to keep your job, that's how you do it. I know I have to compete every day for business. The bottom line is this. If you oppose the open bid, then you're for backroom, shady, Corruption. county, cronyism, and we're just not going to do that here. I trust you all to do the right thing. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Prince. Good afternoon, Commissioners. My name is Paul Wheat. I live at 2211 Westminster Man Lane in Sun City Center. Good job. There's the old saying being used here, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. However, my experience also tells me if you don't maintain it, it soon will be broke. <laughs> the most positive aspect of rebidding a service contract is that in many cases the incumbent firm, by taking a hard look at its own operations and sharpening its pencil, and by the use of new technology, is again selected as the lowest responsible bidder because of its updated capability to offer a lower cost for the same or better product. More bang for the buck. My problem with what's being said here, the incumbents should take the action up front. They shouldn't have to wait until they're forced into it. The other half of the equation, of course, is the integrity of this board. We all know what's being said in the media, what's being said uh, uh, outside. I think this board may, needs to maintain its integrity, and I am for the bidding process for that purpose. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next, please. Good afternoon, Mr. Adams. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Eddie Adams, Jr., 9504 Woodland Ridge Drive, Tampa Terrace, Florida. On my way over here, I heard a commercial, and, it, and there's a Batten guy sitting in a restaurant, and, and he asked me what was on the menu, and he said fish. And he said, uh, don't I get a choice? He said, what's on the menu? He said fish. It's, this is about America, where we have an opportunity to compete. There is no pressure in the room where you already know you got the job. If you already renegotiate the contract, it's not about getting the job or not getting the job. You already got the job. It's about how much you're going to be able to afford to pay for it. I think most of the people in this room here today, uh, the citizens who you represent, is not about bundling of uh, campaign contributions and all the other stuff that may affect your decision. I think your decision should be based upon representing the people. And the people want an open bid. That's why they come today. That's why they spend their time, their energy, and effort. And that's why this country works. It's open bid. Thanks. Thank you very much. Next, please. Certainly not me, I've outlived most of them. 
Let's, let's don't keep going down that crappy path. Transparent, my foot. Thank you. My name is Terry Kempel. My address is 3433 Lithium, Pine Crest Road in Val Rico. I'm president of Community Issues Council. I had a lunch meeting yesterday with a group of pastors and church leaders where we discussed local political issues, and then last night I took part in our monthly Republican Executive Committee meeting. These trash hauling contracts were brought up in both places. These people are representatives of your grassroots constituencies. Many of you will want them to vote for you and to volunteer for your campaigns. We didn't take votes in either venue, but from the look on the faces and the nods of assent, it seemed obvious to me that the consensus was that the course you all should take is to put this contract out for bid. Anyone who has been involved in business contracts knows that you can't be sure you're getting the best value if you've awarded a major contract with the same vendor for the last 15 years, unless you instill some competition. You may find, like Fernando County did, that we could contract with the same vendors for substantially less money. Commissioner Chris, last week you passionately urged your fellow commissioners to be good stewards of the people's money. I trust that you'll do the same today and that you'll all vote to put these contracts Thank in you. the bid. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks, please. I'm Susan Virginia Davis. Happy holidays to everyone. I do wish you all would seriously consider the sensible business practicality of open bids. I've never received a one mil cut yet in my tax and I do want some cuts on my taxes. This is our only opportunity to get less taxes. I'm not here because I earned money from 400 million dollars. I'm here because I'm very concerned and luckily don't work anymore. So please consider the bidding and we all will be watching how the vote goes because it's the only basic, sensible way to handle business. And hopefully it'll cut our millage rate. Mine's only gone down nine hundredths of one mil in the last three years since 2008. This could really cut rates. And I do want to praise the men that pick up the trash, waste management. If you go to another company, please hire the ones that are in the Lutz neighborhoods because they're wonderful if another company gets them. Thank you, I love how the job they do. Ms. Davis, Thank your you. address, please. Oh, um, 17824 Fallow Field, and I too was worried about the one minute since I'm not a vendor and I wasn't worth five minutes. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Next, please. Well, Tom Loeb, 13111 Elgar Place in Riverview. Good afternoon, Council. In the spirit of the Occupy movement taking hold across our great country, the Commission must listen to the 99% of the people that are protesting the wealth of this nation, going to the richest 1%. In that spirit, I implore you to open this bid process. Open it up to the smaller local businessmen. Listening, listening to the 99%, and I think if you take a consensus today in this room, you will find that 99% of your taxpayers want this bid open. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next, please. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Cheryl Tucker, and I'm not new to the committee. A couple of years ago, I came and spoke in reference to an ordinance with the Garbage and Waste Management Program. I just want to say that it's common sense. 17 years doing business with the same contractor, and if you look back even further, you know, those same people were involved even before that time. The garbage industry is a multi-billion dollar industry, and it's been that way for a very long time. Most people don't even realize that uh, Martin Luther King, when he came to Memphis, the day that he got shot, what he was there to talk to the sanitation workers. How many people knew that? The bottom line here is, is that the big three monopolized the business, they got the money, the man stood up here not just long ago, and he gave a great deal. Since this is the same today, just renegotiate with me. Well, I'm a business consultant, and I like doing business with the same people over and over again because you get a feeling of security, 
good business practice, they get the job done. But the bottom line here is there's a lot of money and a lot of unemployed people. When waste management brought this up before, the construction industry was at its highest and then it went level. Thank you, Ms. Tucker. Thank you. Your address, please. 619 Chastain, Sefner, Florida, 33584. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. John Hamilton, 14707, Laurel Lake Lane, Lewis, Florida. Yeah. Uh, 336-33559. I'm a small business owner. I own rented yes. down dumpster rentals in Tampa. And um, just please don't forget about us small guys. Um, as you all recall, a few years ago, there were several hundred people here uh, regarding these matters, and they were all the majority small business owners in Tampa. Okay? Um, we're still having a very difficult time with that, and you all need to consider also opening up the county unopened for roll-off service because that's also monopolized as well. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hamilton. Next. Hello. I'm Don Johnson. Uh, Johnson's Excavation and Services, 1706 East Trenton Road, Atlanta City, Florida. Thank you for your time. Um, I'm a small business. I'd like to work in mind for the small business, small company, so a small dollar. And uh, if you will, if you consider breaking away C and D from garbage, uh, it would allow it would allow um, less expensive for uh, when construction uh, is being done in in the unincorporated areas. We can be very competitive with the big three. In the incorporated areas, it's hard to be competitive if they get down. So I think we can save money if you break that away. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Next, please. Well, it's Hello, my name is Michael Tillman. I reside at 1714 West St. John Street. Thank you. Uh, before I come to this workshop today, I knew very little about the subject matter. But after sitting in on the workshop, it has become uh, very obvious to me that uh, something is going on here. It's probably not in the best interest of the people. Um, obviously, we see how hard the waste management companies went to bat in order to keep their contracts. And I'm not going to point fingers or blame or accuse of robbery or anything else. There's obviously something going on with that. If, they, uh, if they're willing to fight that hard in order to, uh, to keep this thing going, there's nothing wrong with giving uh, smaller businesses a chance to see what they're going to do, see where it goes. It's the same thing with anything. You know, if you stop and if you stop advancing and not uh, and not keep trying to progress, you'll never get anywhere. There'll be no progress. And, uh, thank you for your time today. And have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Chalmers. Next, please. Okay. Sorry, well, good afternoon, Commissioner. My name is <clears throat> Steve Shab, 20004 East 114th Avenue, Tampa. Um, I'm here today. I'm just a simple taxpayer. I'm glad we live in a free society, but wonder why we are not treating these bids for garbage pickup like any other product or service that we send bids out for. And examining, examining the criteria that's, that is set up for bidding on garbage pickup, there's an unfair guidelines like a $20 million bond, who has $500,000 cash to buy a bond of this magnitude? And it's not needed. We need to make it a separate bid from residential pickup and commercial garbage. I asked why these are grouped together, but it does not make common sense. I was told that putting them together allows us to get a price discount for residential pickup. And these are only words unless you send the bids out and see what prices come back from competitors. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Good afternoon. Yeah, my name is Darrell Pass, 9021 Iron Oak Boulevard in Temple, uh, in Tampa. Uh, I'm just requesting that uh, at this time of the workshop that uh, we look at the companies that already have the bids that, like I say, year after year get the bids. I think it's time that we give smaller businesses the opportunity to present themselves and give them an opportunity to show that they can do a good job at a competitive rate and that, uh, if nothing else, maybe what we can do is separate the commercial and the residential pickups to make it more favorable for smaller businesses to do what they can to serve our communities. Thank you. Thank you. Next. 
My name is Marty Papp. I live at 921 Iron Oak Boulevard in Tampa, Florida. And I'm a, a concerned citizen, um, and I agree with many of the people that have, that have talked today about the unfair bidding um, and why the bids um, are automatically given to the same company dating all the way back to the 1950s. Why, as our community has grown, um, are we not opening the market for small businesses and minority-owned businesses uh, to be able to bring some income into the community? I ask that each county commissioner asks themselves what is best for the community and what will help the job market and the economy. Um, how can we better divide the wealth and let others participate in the money and making um, and to compete in the businesses here in our community? Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Well, Joe Wicker, 2264 Kings Palace Drive, Riverview. So as a citizen, as a businessman, I can definitely understand uh, the things that these, these current incumbents are saying, the, the relationship, the technology, don't fix what's broken. We, we all understand that. Um, I'll give you some real world examples. I just put something out to bid myself in my industry. I say 5% right off the bat, um, no loss of service. I had a customer of mine put my business out to bid. I had to cut my margin by 6%. <laughs> okay, so I'll to keep the business. Uh, so so this is, this is going to happen. We're going to get a better price through fair market. But uh, when they talk about relationships, I just want to remind us all that the true relationship here is first with the people, then through our tax dollars to the government, and then they go and, and get us the best deal. That's the relationship. It's not between waste management and, and the board. Okay, So just, if we just keep that in mind where the relationship starts uh, with the people. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Susan Long, 921 East Broad Street, Tampa, Florida. I have a PhD in finance and economics. I have spent years looking over contracts, crunching numbers, seeing what it comes from. After 17 years with the same contractor, you don't even know what the numbers are that are potential for you. You haven't even looked at them. You've got 16 years of dead air. It's time you open it up for bidding. Find out what's out there. You may have the best deal. You may not, but you don't know, and it's time to find out. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Elder Michelle B. Patty, 109 Rosanna Drive, Brandon, Florida. I stand here before you as a consumer and also a voter. I'm being told that many of you receive monies from these companies for your campaign. But I'd like for you to know that we vote and money don't. You need to open this up for bid that we need to understand that we as taxpayers, we elected you all to look out for our best interests and not yours. We've already seen that because you're discussing it, the company is now saying they're going to give us a reduction. So we understand that putting something out for bid is going to be the best thing for everyone. So I'm asking each and every one of you to please vote that we put this out for bid where it be fairness and equity for all. Good afternoon, Commissioner Gerald White, Gilbert County Community Advocates. The citizens of this county is working from paycheck to paycheck. They're hurting. They need you to fight for them as it relates to this bid. First, for the bidders, any bid that reduces jobs in this county, their bid will be dead on arrival. We do not want a company that's going to take jobs out of our, out of our community, food out of the mouths of the children of this community. Uh, we want a competitive bid. This is not about an R. This is not about a D. This is not about a T. This is about good quality of service and low cost to the citizens of the Hillsborough County. Get the bid. Make it right. Fight for the best product. I support the staff recommendation. And if they can't make it right, send them back out the door. Mr. White, your address, please, sir. 8419 North 46th Street, Tampa, for 254,000 families. Thank you, Mr. White. Next, please. Good afternoon, Commissioners. I'm Forrest Davis, a uh, Vice President of the Kings Point Federation, uh, which has over 9,000 resident voters. And I'm here today to speak favorably of our Waste Service Incorporated, our current provider. Uh, we uh, have a unique situation where we are uh, 
have dumpster service and we also have curbside service. Uh, we took a survey of our residents and uh, asked them if uh, what their satisfaction was for WSI and it came out 99%, just like some of the statistics. Uh, our, survey, our survey also asked our resident voters if they wanted our board of directors to seek a new provider. They said absolutely not. Uh, we, we started our negotiations with uh, WSI, uh, you know, for our dumpster service, and we're very happy with them. And needless to say, uh, they keep an uh, uh, on-time schedule for us, and we're happy that they, they're our provider. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Next, please. Welcome. Hi, my name is Karen Jerosh, and I reside at 16501 East Course Drive, and I'm um, here. I'm the field coordinator for Americans for Prosperity, a group um, promoting free markets, and mm. um, that's the issue that we have today. We, we need to open up the market to fair competition, uh, and I urge, I believe it just is self-evident, and I know this board will make the right decision, and they will open it up for competitive bid. But I do want to caution that you need to pay close attention to the forthcoming RFP. Um, please watch for any language that will increase fees um, or add new mandates that weren't there before. My second comment would be to simply please don't make the requirements in the RFP too restrictive set so that only a handful of companies can qualify to bid their services. Entrepreneurship and competition must be encouraged to allow creativity and innovation to flourish and to unleash the economic free market forces in our county. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Roche. Anyone else? Step right up, folks. Ringling Brothers Circus is in town this week. Well, <laughs> says, Community activist Michelle Williams, 12608 Long Press Drive, Riverview, Florida. I got one question. Who is the certified level three accountant to handle all the millions of dollars? You don't have one. A friend of mine who works for the Department of Defense knocked on my door at 8.22 this morning and gave me what I needed. I already know what you're supposed to have and you don't have it. So now I'm going after you. Nepotism at its best. Thought I wasn't even going to have to use that word to Pat Bean left this county building. And here it is again. Knocking at our front door. Who raised the debt ceiling? When was it raised? Who modified it? Who okayed this? And to dumb, dumb, and dumb as the big three, let my trash be on the ground on Saturday and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Lewis. Next, please. Thank you. Hi, well, members. My name is Michael Hadley. I am a business owner uh, in Hillsborough County uh, in the Southland area, District 4. And I'm not going to beat you up. It's all about ending a monopoly. It's all about ending conclude, the inclusion. And that's exactly what it is. Gil, we always talk about the opportunity, a fair marketplace, parity for everybody. But you know what shocks me? When waste management comes, I've never seen the height of arrogance. That's right. Literally. Right. That he comes in, we're going to do this like we owe him something. Yes. I was the only one to hear that? No. Thank you, Commissioner Beckner. <laughs> and I wish the rest of you stand up and say something for the citizens of our community. Thank you, sir. Mr. Hadley, your address, please, sir. Sir, I'm a private investigator, and people will probably be sitting up at my door to ambush me. My, my information is restricted, but I live in Sefner. Thank you. Next please. <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary Milton, 7003 Edinburgh Court. Quality of service as well as price should be the issue here today. Because you wanted to save money, you voted for outsourcing the mowing of medians, etc. around Hillsborough County. Today you can see the poor quality of work that is being performed by these contractors throughout the county. Mowing is what they do. There is no cleanup in and around any of the plants, and now there are weeds growing as tall as the plants and trash is everywhere. When those contracts are up, who's going to clean up the areas that are not getting attention? I don't want that to happen with our garbage collection service. I recommend that the commissioners renegotiate with the current haulers first and reserve the right to go out to bed. 
with a 99% satisfaction rating, why make a change if it's not needed? And if you decide to go out for bid, I certainly hope for public waste gets it. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Commissioners. Uh, Lynette Field, 4621 Baycrest Drive. I understand this process of bidding and government terms of uh, shopping around, but I don't understand this whole change, and I don't know why it's necessary. Anyway, I'm very happy with the current haulers. We know the drivers and their assistants personally. They take care of our needs if there's a complaint. And sure, there are complaints. I understand that. Um, I just want to say that um, if you do change, <clears throat> please do not increase my rates. Commissioner Higginbotham, I would like to ask you to run this process in all fairness. If you need help, I'm your volunteer. Anytime. Uh, I pray that you will all make the right decision. I know you're thinking of the constituents' <coughs> interests, and I hope that everything will go well for you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ms. Bill. Good afternoon, Ms. Warlock. Good afternoon, Commissioner. I'm Bob Rowland at the Greater Tampa Chamber of Commerce, 201 North Franklin Street here in Tampa. Uh, first of all, thank you for your efforts on this. Uh, I don't think there's any uh, demon work going on here with the Commission or with the current haulers. Uh, but the, the Chamber has taken position, we sent that over, uh, encourage, encouraging you to do a bid process. Uh, it's, it's, a fair, it's a way to have fair, good, open, transparent Thank you. We think that's important for everybody, both for you, the staff, and for the uh, uh, vendors who work. It also shows just going through the due diligence process that we think is important for everyone involved and what can go on. And I don't think we should go with the assumption that put it up to different companies will get to work. Uh, that seems to be the that's being stated today, but I don't think that's necessarily so. Good companies are doing the work, and good companies want a fair shot to do the work. And that's what we need to encourage here. Those are current and those are going to be are good companies. So hopefully we can have a fair, open bid process that's partial with the right criteria. That's the best thing for all citizens involved. Thank you for your work. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, Commissioners. Good to see you again. As some of you know, I was staff down here. I'm in support of the solid waste contracts being just for the government. As the former chair of the Democratic Party in this county, I can say it's good to join my uh, friends, Republican friends here, the uh, Tea Party. I don't think Terry Kempel and I have ever been on the same side of anything. <laughs> Uh, libertarians to progressive Democrats, as well as the Tampa Tribune, the St. Petersburg Times, and our own county solid waste staff, all asking the commission to bid this out and do the right thing. I can tell you I've talked to people from all political persuasions across the board about this, and it strikes me the unanimity of responses that I get, especially from business people. The first thing I hear is disbelief that it's not illegal not to bid the contract. They say, isn't there a rule? Don't you have to do this? I was even reminded by uh, someone who works, uh, gets grants, nonprofit from the county, that nonprofits in the county, by county rules, are required to get three estimates for any purchase over $500. And here we're talking about such a big, big contract. So I urge you to do the right thing and bid this out. Ma'am, your name and address, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Patricia Kemp, 5118 Seminole Avenue, Tampa. Thank you, Ms. Kemp. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all. Shout out for 7016 Small Palmetto Lane here in Tampa. There are two words. There is transparency and integrity. If this process isn't open, like every other process, when I taught the school system, if we wanted to buy a box of paper, we had to have three people bid on it. A box of paper. Transparency and openness. If this process isn't Either of those, if it isn't open, the integrity is lost. This board, knowing what's happened in this room, that you're still, you're still dealing with. You're still dealing with. You dealt with it at the beginning of this meeting. If it isn't open and transparent, the integrity of this board and this county is lost. And some of your personal integrity is lost. And that would be tragic. Because everyone has good hearts. Don't let it happen. 
open bid. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Lawson. George Farkas, I'm on Farkas Road, 5704, Atlanta City, Florida. I'm, I own Farkas Land Clearing and I have a roll off. The big three tried to put me out of business a couple years back. They called me the rogue. They called all of us the rogue. Uh, now this wants to go up without a bid. Anybody that calls me for a dumpster wants a bid every time. So I don't understand why this can't go up for bid. It needs to go up for bid. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry. Hello, my name is Andrew Laws. What about Waste Pro? I want to say that Waste Pro is, uh, for me, it's a wonders. We've had great bonus programs. I myself have received three bonuses. One of a award for 10000 It comes up every three years. Another one for keeping a uh, nice vehicle, which is 100 bucks. And also recently I got a Regional Values Award, which meant a lot to me. We have uh, a team of full miners that's unreal. I've been trucking for 30 years, and Waste Pro is the best place that I've worked for. My address is 146 Cape Coral, Florida, and we've never had service like in Cape Coral. We have it now. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yes. Eric Aarons, good afternoon. 5337 Black Pine Drive, Tampa, Florida. I'm a member of a veterans organization called Operation Free. We're veterans for clean American power. I'm also a member of the Truman National Security Project, who looks at climate change along with the Department of Defense and with the CIA as being a threat multiplier and one of our uh, most important aspects that we need to look at when it comes to national security. In the rebidding process, we can look at companies that will present to you a cleaner and smaller carbon footprint and also better recycling. And I wish that you would consider that and open up bidding. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next. Commissioners, my name is Sam Sudman. I'm a member, board of directors of Sun City Center Community Association, comprised of approximately 20,000 active and engaged senior citizens.